Welcome to Black Hawk Farms uh, down here in Southern Beloit. So it's a super uh, cool little track we rented out. Wanted to bring out our, our, our good employees, good friends, and uh, most importantly, our really good customers to test out their cars here at the track. Gives us a time to help dial their cars in, get some uh, data off of them. But uh, make sure you watch through the whole episode because we're gonna see how uh, our private track rental day goes. We should have a lot of time on track and we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll learn together, right? <laughs> All right guys, let's go. we're gonna go a quick loop of all the cars we brought. This is uh, Jim's GT500 he got at Middleton Ford. Our parent co company, I guess. This is Andy Page's uh, Mustang. We did a bunch of work on putting your transmission in, drive shaft. Do all the track prep on that car, make sure that thing's running top top. We built this GT3 RS in our back shop. From you sure track. about that? Just kidding, but we always gotta have the coolest stuff on track to see how it goes. Eric's uh, Camaro, we do all the work on that vehicle. Get that thing track ready, brakes, tires, all that kind of stuff. Andy Newman. He has the current record right now for lap times here of a 14, like 114.6. So my goal is always to try to beat it with a 500, right? So we'll see if we can get that. It's the goal today. This is Brandon's uh, GT350R. Dan Nev from Cruise for a Cause, we got his Roush Mustang out here. Um, you can see he he knows a few people. <laughs> Signed by pretty much everybody with Gary Patterson, Bill Ford. Look at all these guys. This thing's been around the whole country raising money for uh, cancer research. So make sure you come to our Cruise for a Cause event at Road America because we're a big sponsor of that. Uh, this is Brandon's other GT500 he bought from us. We did a track prep on this one. Um, been a, uh, had a couple track days already, but he won first time out here, so it should be fun to see what that can do. This is our VIP tent over here. Everybody here spent $30,000 or more on additions to their car. <laughs> <laughs> well worth it. Well worth it. These guys at their company where they work, they have a traveling trophy, so they always fight for a trophy. So it's always, who's going to who's gonna get it? Yeah. <laughs> Eric's going we'll for it today. It's gonna we'll be see. my day. Oh, Todd did a loop around the track with a moped. Not sure if that was uh, amazing, legal or not. Best lap of the day. <laughs> you might get the trophy just I for that. I might get the trophy <laughs> for that. <laughs> Highlight of the day. Oh, 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 oh. This is Kelsey. Uh, she's one of our advisors at the dealership. She, uh, we just did exhaust, brakes, and stuff on it. So. She's out here to test it out. If you watch our channel, you know whose car this is. This is this is my 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 baby. Open to getting to the thirteens is the goal today. Might be a tall ass, but we just did some uh, upgrades to it. So this track, it might be honestly might be where I put too much power into it, maybe. But we'll see. <laughs> Time will tell. This is Todd's. We call it Wednesday. Because it's a, uh, you know, the Wednesday all blacked out theme. This is Greg's uh, fully track built, kind of a clone of my car. As you guys know, we build like my R and D car is the green one, so we test everything. So everything that we've tested that's worked, we put onto this car. So this thing's a build in the making. Been to Road America for a couple track days already with these. And this is another one of their vehicles. So. Derek drives this one. This is Doug's car. He's probably going to do a 58 second lap. You think? Maybe 40. Full send to the bend. <clears throat> this is uh, this is our R&D leap into the Porsche world. So, doing some testing on different brakes and tires. We got the Forge Line wheels with the uh, Hoosier R7 tires on there. Um, yeah, see what we can do with that today. Just uh, did some tuning on it, make a little more power, so we'll see how that reacts to this track. This is Josh's E36 track build. Good buddy of ours. Jordy's uh, E36 over here. Done some work on this thing. LS swapped. Not your traditional engine in this one. <laughs> but purpose built for the track. This is Sean, uh, Sean's vehicle. Fully built for the track, RTR edition. Roll cage harnesses, slicks, brakes. Got a 10 speed in there. 
We'll send to the bend. This is Mike's track built E36 car, wide body. Big brake kit, turbo, DCT. If I had to spend like an hour talking about what's been done to it, but Mike was working on tuning it before we take it out. Now everybody, drop a comment down below of all these cars you've seen, who's gonna get the best lap time? We know it probably is capable of the best, but you also have to, you know, driver, who's, who's gonna get it? Put a comment down there. If you get it right, you win absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I want you guys, when you go on the track, go up to what's called a false grid. Stationary yellow means there's something off track. We get a lot of animals around here, deer, uh, turkeys. This is a black flag meatball, mechanical black flag. That's if you're dropping or smoking or something. Of course, checker flag and a green flag. The main thing is have fun. It's not a race, it's more just to enjoy, the, enjoy yourself, learn your car. Learn, it's a good track for learning your turn points, you know. Uh, you got anything? Um, we did mention, so if you go off track, put eight, I don't care if it's even like a tire or two tires in the grass, just pull off and just cool down. Because I just want everybody to, you know, once you get in that moment, take that. And then again, just respect everybody else out there. Let's have fun. I go drive a little bit. That thing is 
insane. He's not Could... quite smoking as bad. Dude, this thing is nasty. A 13? 13. Fucking crash, man. That's awesome. That is flying. That was my second, my second full lap. There's definitely more in it. The problem is I'm fighting trash control. I got to like 140 going down the front stretch and just like... It's completely different than this. This is just violent. So I gotta go see what this can do now. This is gonna be... I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's so nimble. Hey guys, it's Jim with Middleton Motorsports. I'm coming to you here from Black Hawk Farms in Rockford, uh, Illinois here. It's our first track day with the 992 GT3. Um, just picked this beautiful beast up here uh, about three weeks ago. It was a long, long process in, uh, in ordering it, but absolutely well worth the wait. Uh, it's an incredible machine. I have the, um, I've had the opportunity to drive the Porsche GT cars here for the last five or six years. I, I currently own a, a GT2 RS as well, so look for a future video on the comparison of the two. But my initial impression here is it's just an unbelievable car. Um, we're on a small, I don't know if it's a couple mile track, average times are about a, mil, a minute 20, a minute 15, a minute 25. Um, a lot of turns, a lot of braking, not as much high speed, but I will tell you the car is absolutely fantastic. This has a Wyzak package. Um, it's ice gray with the, um, the red wheels, uh, pyro red wheels, pyro red accents. Uh, it has um, the carbon ceramic brakes in with the yellow calipers. It is an option to do black. I chose to keep it uh, yellow. Uh, it just is a fantastic car. Um, as you can see, I already had it a couple times around the track. Uh, breaking it in still, it, it requires about a 942 mile break-in period. Uh, I can tell you it's not quite at 942, but we're not pushing it all the way to 9,000 RPMs. Um, it's tough not to do that, by the way. But um, you can see we already have a couple nice little track scuff marks on it with the rubber coming up. Um, unbelievable aero. Everybody talks about the arrow. Um, you know, you can see it does collect its fair share of rocks. Yeah, it collects its fair share of rocks through the arrow. A lot of open, you know, wheel space here, kicking up rocks. You can hear as you're driving, um, just on every ordinary road, you can hear the rocks hitting up against the uh, mirror below. Uh, I will tell you, I think one of the largest concerns was whether this was going to be a treat, a streetable, drivable, everyday drivable car. I will tell you in comparison to the GT2, um, I feel it's a much softer ride. Um, I was much, I was very pleasantly surprised that it is as soft on the road as it actually is. Um, yeah, it's harder than the GT car, uh, much harder than the traditional GTS or turbo. But quite frankly, if you put it, a little cheat code, if you put it into track and set the compression and the dampening all the way to soft, it actually is a very pleasant, in my opinion, a pleasant ride. Um, the active arrow is something that is absolutely, you know, cool and insane, quite frankly. Um, has the DRS button that lights up green when it's available. Um, I absolutely noticed the difference if you're just cruising, you know, um, in Mexico, if you will, at 90, 120 miles per hour and you press the DRS, you actually feel like the car kind of lets loose a little bit. Um, and then when you turn the DRS off, it feels like a little bit of a parachute. So I absolutely feel the DRS in action. Um, you know, the sound, the naturally aspirated engine, it just brings us a level of excitement and passion to it that I think the 2RS does not have. Although the 2RS is insanely fast and could kill you at any moment, I think this car is a bit more controllable, but a video will come further on a comparison. We will be taking this car to Road America as well. I mean, that's really our home track. Um, it just set the record, uh, production car record, uh, two, 2 minutes and 13.8 seconds, I believe, which is insane. Um, I'm going to be nowhere near that, uh, but it's nice to know that the car can do it. Um, what else here? Uh, you know, pyro red accents, ice gray color. Interior, not a lot of options um, that were, were plus-ups other than the, the Bose radio. I don't even know why I did that, to be honest. But 
you can see, uh, awesome interior, very clean. Um, the cars in the US um, with the WISAC package unfortunately don't come with the carbon fiber roll bar uh, or cage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it would be awesome to have, but quite frankly, with the lack of a frunk, because they move the radiator to the center for extra cooling and aero, uh, it does give you a little bit more room in the interior to pack your helmet or pack little small bags and actually take it on a trip or an overnight uh, trip uh, with your wife or, or friends. Uh, just an awesome car. Again, more to come from Middleton Motorsports. Uh, more videos to come, more track experiences. Uh, the comparison to the GT2 RS, comparison to the GT500, um, and anything else that we may have. I know you also hopefully subscribe to our channel and you can see the Draggy the World series. We will absolutely Draggy the World with this. Um, I'm not sure I'll let Chuck drive it, but um, I'm sure he will and have some fun with it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and take care. I feel like uh, the lap, the best lap of the day so far is in my 500, a 13.5 with a passenger, but I think I can beat that with this. I'm not sure if they're going to be okay with me going on track, but sometimes it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs>